Hi everyone, welcome back to Yoga Bossa, where you find a beautiful blend of yoga and music, original music, yes. And I have something very special for you guys today. The name of the series is Pawan Muktasana, and let's jump right into it. <music> The name of this exercise now is hand clenching. We're gonna be clenching our hands. It's very simple. You can't remain on the base position or just sit in any cross-legged pose, okay? We'll bring both arms up, palms down. The thumbs go in, we make a fist with the thumbs in there, shoulders are relaxed, we'll be opening up and clenching everything, opening up and clenching, okay. We inhale as we open and we exhale as we close the hands. Prepare, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax and shaking off your arms a little bit. We'll do wrist bending now. Same position. Bring the arms straight forward. But the movement is going to be this. Up and down. Stemming from the wrists. Okay. We are inhaling as we go up. Exhaling as we go down. Let's do 10 of those. Prepare. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, so good for us, right? All the time with the keyboards and the cell phone and things. Awesome stretch. Of the forearm muscles, of the wrist joints, and we're moving on wrist joint rotation. Let's bring just the right arm forward. We we'll do a loose fist here, and we'll be just rotating clockwise. Regular breathing here. That's it, okay? Preparing, let's start. The left hand is very relaxed here for now until I need to use it. Preparing, starting, one, two, awareness of the movement, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Counterclockwise. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Relax the right arm. Mm -hmm. Let's do the left side. Arm up. Loose fist. You don't really have to, to clench here. It's not the, the point. We are focusing on, on the wrist. Okay. So let's do 10 times. Normal breathing. Clockwise. Prepare. Start. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Counter or anti clockwise. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm -hmm. There was stage one of wrist joint rotation. Stage two. Both arms, loose fists, clockwise first, prepare, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. If you need a break, just shake off your arms a little. Feels good to shake off the arms anyway, right? Let's do it counterclockwise now. Prepare. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. Relaxing, shaking off your arms one more time. We have a stage three for this exercise which is both arms now, opposite directions, okay? We bring the hands together, then we just go in opposite directions. Prepare, bringing the hands together, start. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And since I'm here, I'm just going to do the other opposite direction. <laughs> okay, so let's start. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10. Beautiful. And that's because I'm not even telling you the Sanskrit names. There was Mani Bandha Chakra. The next one is called Kehuni Namang. I hope I'm saying it correctly. The Sanskrit names are really fun. Okay, same thing for this next exercise. You can stay cross-legged or get back to the base position if you ever left it. This is called the elbow bending. Bring both arms up, palms up this time. We'll be bringing them in and extending them. We exhale as we come in, we inhale as we extend the arms. We'll do 10 of those. Let's start. Let's start from here, okay? It makes more sense to start with an inhalation. So inhale, extend, exhale, bring them to your shoulders. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, five, six, seven, eight, fill in the arms, nine, Ten. Release. Whoa. There was stage one of elbow bending. If you need a break, or again, if you need to modify the pace of any of these exercises, go for it. We do the second stage of this, which is arms open to the sides. We will be bringing the arms in and extending them. Same thing, we will exhale in, inhale out. So we will start from this position. Ready, prepare, inhale, extend, exhale, Bring them to the shoulder. Inhale. Exhale. Bring the hands in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. That feels really good. We're going now for elbow rotation. Bring the right arm up, bend it at the elbow, and use the left hand to support the right arm. The idea here is to rotate the elbow so the hand will be loose, and the idea is for the lower arm to describe this kind of movement, a circle, 
the fingers kind of brush on your shoulders. We are inhaling as we come in, exhaling as we're going out. Neutral position. Prepare. Inhale. Exhale as you open up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Ten times counterclockwise. Start. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh. Shaking it off. We do the elbow rotation on the left side. So Bring the left arm up, hands to your shoulder, support the arm, bring the hand back to a neutral position. We will start clockwise 10 times, okay? Oh, I got confused. This is clockwise? Yes, this is clockwise. <laughs> okay. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Big circle, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Counterclockwise ten times, okay? One, two, Inhaling on the upward movement, exhaling on the downward movement. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Ah, oh. hmm. Serious stuff here, guys. Shaking off both arms. Okay, last exercise of this elbow shoulder area. The Sanskrit name is really cute. Skanda Chakra. Mm -hmm. bring, bring the right hand to the right shoulder, basically. We would do 10 times on the side, clockwise, then counterclockwise. The left hand should just 
relax on this one, okay? So preparing, inhaling on the upward movement, exhaling on the downward movement. Let's start, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, big nice movement, inhaling, exhaling, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, counterclockwise, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's switch arms. Right arm rests on the right kneecap. Bring the left hand to the left shoulder. We'll do 10 times clockwise, then 10 times counterclockwise. Prepare. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opposite direction. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Relaxing. Doing both arms at the same time. The way we do this is we bring the elbows close together, then up, then down. We are inhaling on the upward movement, exhaling on the downward movement. Let's prepare. Inhale, elbows together, up, exhale, down. Inhale, then down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Straight ahead on the opposite direction. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. 
exhale, inhale, exhale, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is supposedly very good to relieve the strain of lots of hours of driving, office work, and honestly, so many things in life that demand an effort from this area of our body. I've been pedaling every day during this COVID-19 weeks, and I can totally feel this area. So, yes, that had such a soothing effect right now. I almost feel like I should go take a nap. <laughs> but we're almost done. Let's finish up. The neck movements that come next is the last part of this group, the anti-rheumatic group. But before we jump into the neck movements, Let's connect with the breath one more time. Inhale. Expand your diaphragm. Exhale. Release all the air from inside your body. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. On to the last part. Griva Sanchalana. The names are awesome. We will do chin to chest, then crown of the head all the way up and back. Exhaling forward, inhaling up and back. Okay, prepare, let's start. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, crown up and back. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, All the movements that include the constriction and release of this throat area are usually very good for the thyroid and of course this is a great movement for for all of us with cell phones and modern life issues you, easy to do you can do it anywhere okay so let's keep going Next movement 
It's very simple again. The head is going to go towards the shoulders. We inhale in the center, exhale to the side. Inhale back to the center, exhale to the side. Always inhaling to the center, exhaling to the sides. Let's do 10 of those, okay? So inhaling, exhale to the right. Inhale to the center, exhale to the left. Back to the center, that's one round. Second round, exhale. Inhale, center, exhale, left. Inhale, center, exhale, right. Inhale, center, exhale, left. Inhale, center, exhale, right. Keep going. Six, seven, eight. Cycle of breath right in the middle. We will twist the head now, the neck to the right side, back to the center, and to the left, then to the center. That's one round. Exhaling to the sides, inhaling to the center. Prepare. Inhale in the center, exhale to the right. Inhale back to the center, exhale to the left. Inhale to the right. Beautiful. Two to the right. Center. Left. Center, three, center, left, center, four, center, left, center, five, center, Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, and we'll finish it up with a neck rotation ten times clockwise, ten times counterclockwise. Exhaling forward and down, inhaling up and back. Prepare, 
we will exhale all the way forward and down inhale back and up big nice rotation two three four five six seven eight nine Switching directions, exhaling forward and down, inhaling back and up, big beautiful circle, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. to the center just take a couple of cycles of breath just breathing normally through the diaphragm And there you had it, Pawan Muktasana, group one. Please lie down on your back for Shavasana, final relaxation. It's very important that you take this final step to integrate everything you did. And I'll talk to you in a little bit. Enjoy.
this was the first part of a three part exercise you just gotta complete tune up of your body we oiled all the joints we changed the spark plugs all the fluids everything should be working beautifully now again please do not underestimate the simplicity the apparent simplicity of this series it's an amazing extremely valuable tool for your yoga practice i hope you enjoyed it if you did please subscribe leave a comment ask questions i know there are so many details for this series I didn't want you to skip or skimp on anything and I hope you find it as useful as I do feel free to share this channel with family friends with anyone actually that you think might benefit from it thank you so much for being back at Yoga Bossa have a great day Namaste.